Well, Jeff, it's it's really a completely different operating environment when you have to work out of the bomb shelters to support the network and do business despite lots of uh, missile attacks. Uh, we have over the last five months almost put to uh, and renewed and re-established 4,000 base stations. It's a very different business now. The nature of the business is changing. We have almost 6 million unique subscribers uh, going out of Ukraine uh, over this time. And of course, supporting this uh, is a challenge. Cybersecurity is no more a risk management issue. It's operational excellence. It has to be done every day. So the business is different. Of course, revenue streams are also different. Uh, we see a big change to interconnect and uh, roaming revenues. And I have to thank all the European operators here who has been supporting our roam like home uh, tariffs. Uh, it has been a great help and uh, it, it shows you know, the solidarity in a very good way. Um, you can't talk about Ukraine without talking about Russia, which naturally is an important market to you. I think um, approximately 30% of your revenues, and uh, we did see in this period that the revenues in Russia rose just over 12%. But um, given the sanctions, given the war, um, are you seeing any pressure on you as a company to either wind back or wind down your operations in Russia? Look, we are... Uh, we are an industry which provides an essential humanitarian service. And it is really important to keep people connected, connected to information sources, and make sure that you know we also keep our networks running and working, connecting Russian people. We have almost 50 million subscribers there, 29,000 people in the country. Of course, we feel the full responsibility of securing their well-beings as well. Uh, and um, with regard to our operations, they have been doing well. They are very resilient as well. Uh, you know, I, I would like to actually hold it there. Um, I think you raise an interesting issue, and I know you've written quite a lot about the, the, the primacy of telecommunications on this planet now is just ba basically being a, a, a human need, right? A human need <laughs> along with, you know, water and food. Absolutely. Very correct, very correct. And actually, the future of economies, especially in the countries that we operate, from Bangladesh to Pakistan, depends on the digital transformation of these countries. The only way to eradicate poverty, the only way to make sure that we create jobs of the future, is to connect people. And that's really the purpose, as we own, that we focus on. We connect people in very remote places, in places where poverty is still a problem, hunger is still a problem. And when I see a farmer, a woman actually farming rice and getting access to a solar powered irrigation pump and changing his business, then renting that pump and creating a steady income for him, uh, it's an amazing uh, capabilities that we can build in these countries. And that purpose, I believe that we feel in ourselves, makes our company very resilient and able to storm these challenges.